Hi guys, welcome back to Bougie Doll Life. My name is Katrina and today we're gonna be looking for Monster High Gen 3 dolls. So I got a tip from X Canada because she did post a video saying that if you go to Macy's and they have Toys R Us, that they have Gen 3 Monster High dolls. So I'm at Macy's right now and I'm gonna see if they have Gen 3 Monster High dolls. And I don't even wanna get started on last night when I waited till three in the morning for the black and white Claudine doll. It sold the whole line sold out in three minutes on Mattel. I'm so upset about it, but you know what? We're just gonna see the bright side. I just redid my hair, so it's a little stiff. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if they have it inside of Macy's. So let's go and see if they have it. So right now I'm at Macy's. Let me turn the music down. So right now I'm at Macy's and yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and see if they have Gen 3 dolls. So apparently the Toys R Us is on the second floor. So I'm going up right now in the elevator. So let's see. And I'm excited they have Toys R Us inside of Macy's. This is dope. So let's see what they have. So I had to go over to voiceover, so I did find them. So here they are, and they all look so beautiful. I was looking at all the different ones, and definitely I wanted Claudine. She was my first choice, to be honest with you. And I'm just looking through them. They were having some deals on toys, so definitely if you have a Macy's with Toys R Us, check it out because some of the toys were like 10% off. And um, also, I guess if you have a Macy's card, you get 20% off. And also, there's a coffee bean, and it was just so awesome, and I was so excited, and I couldn't wait. So i was just showing off the dolls so there's claudine she looks so good and i'm about to pick one out to see which one that i like there's cleo denial looking so fabulous and then now i'm gonna show you a couple of them so that's dracula cleo denial frankie stein claudine and then you have laguna who is so pretty laguna looks so good i love laguna and then the coffee bean secured the bag i got claudine claudine was gonna be my first choice but i wanted um twilight because i heard she had better hair but honestly i am happy when i seen claudine i love her a lot i can't wait to dress her up i heard she has like box hair but it's okay because i do dolls hair all the time so it's okay so I don't know how I feel about her nose. I might take it off. Let's go ahead and go home and do a review on her. All right, guys. So I'm back home, and we have Claudine. So we got Gen Three Claudine, and I'm so happy to have her. This is the one that had the best hair inside the box. I heard something about it being polypropylene hair which you know i'm kind of sad about but it's okay because i know how to work with doll hair so it's not a bad thing but it's just like she's gotta work a little harder with her hair but besides that let's go ahead and get her open and get into her look and everything she comes with okay guys so this is claudine out of the box and the first thing i noticed is look at her box hair Look at this box hair. Oh my god. I love it. Like I love the colors. I love how it has kind of like a rose gold color and then it goes to a dark purple and it then has brown in the back. I love the mix of colors. But this kind of hair is just ah, it drives me nuts. But I'm gonna give this hair some TLC and pretty much do i saw my fire stuff how she uh, gave it a hot boil rinse and twisted it like or i'm gonna put some rollers in it and then give her probably like some curls and i think i'll be happy with that so that's what i'm gonna do to fix the hair but besides the hair she's absolutely gorgeous like i really love how she looks and her ears are bigger than they were for the original Claudine doll. Let me get you guys one of my Claudine dolls that I have because Claudine is my favorite character from Monster High and I have another one. So this is my other Claudine doll that I have right here and she, I think she's like Scarce Claudine. If I'm not mistaken, if I'm wrong, I'll correct it down below, but she's my favorite Claudine doll right here. So um, her hair is hard as a rock but i it's full of gel it's probably saran hair because usually that's what they use for monster high but 
this is definitely Polly Pomper in her hair. And I, I mean, it's just not good hair. It's not great hair, but uh, but you know you can reroute her, and you can probably fix it with a hot blow rinse, and things will go back to normal. So comparing both of them, so this is like the traditional Monster High doll. The chest is bigger, the hips are bigger, the joints are different. She has a chest joint right here in the middle of her chest. This one does not have a chest joint in the middle of her chest. It's solid. So, and plus the earrings, she has more gold in her earrings. I noticed that this Claudine just has black earrings. And it's okay. I like it. It's not bad. And I love that she has baby hairs. I think that's super cute and more up to date because now that's like the style for us to do our baby hairs with the hairstyles and i feel like that's more up to date and i love that and i wanted to make sure i got one with a good curl because i heard about the polypropylene so i was like at least let the curl on the front be perfect so that's why i was picking through all of them so i got the one with the perfect curl on the front and um yeah and as far as the shoes um i don't feel like they can share shoes just because her feet are bigger than hers and these socks right here they're not full socks they are like leg warmers type of thing right here but i do love how on her feet she has fur i love how on her wrist she has fur on the wrist and then i love that there's fur around her head on the sides because the other Claudine don't have that. And then another new aspect to Claudine is that she wears glasses. So let's go ahead and put her glasses on. So the hairs on the sides hold her glasses onto her. And I really like that because, you know, we need more characters with glasses. I love it personally. I personally wear glasses. So I don't see any problems with it. Some people don't like the glasses. I feel like the glasses should have had a frame to them but then again when it comes to photography sometimes the frame has a glare so i like it without the frame i if it had the frame it would give more detail kind of like delilah from rainbow high if it was like that it would be okay because that's fine but um yeah other than that i don't see anything wrong with it her hair has a little tiny top knot and then she has a little curl on the side and then she's wearing this long sleeve shirt with the moon and a full moon and a half moon. And then she has her belt, which is full moons and half moons. And it has a chain going down that's with the moon. And it has a paw print. And then she's wearing this jumper that has the cheetah print, kind of like a cheetah print. And then it has the different moon cycles around the front of her shorts jumper and I love how her jewelry is she has two necklaces one with a half moon with a blue full moon and it's a chain and the other one's a choker with a star I love her face green I love the fact that she has freckles now the fact she has freckles now it looks so pretty and then I love that let me take her glasses off so you guys can see that better so yeah and then I love that I think that's super cute her nose I'm not gonna lie, you guys, I am gonna take off the brown off her nose because I just feel like she looks better with all the brown on her nose. And I saw my friends do it with acetone, and I, I was kind of thinking the same thing when I was going to get this doll. So now that I've seen how it looks from her doll, I'm definitely going to do it. And as far as her shoes, she has these sneakers that have gold trimming around them, they're kind of like claws. And then in the front of her shoes, it has buckles with half moons and full moons. And then on the side, it's the same. Then it has moons on the side of her shoes. And her articulation, she has full head rotation. She has rotation of the chest. Her chest can move front, back, and side to side. And then she has elbow rotation she has shoulder rotation she has wrist rotation and then she has rotation of the knee where she could bend her knee 
So that's really good articulation as far as photography, which is my main aspect because I take a lot of pictures of my dolls. So, which is another reason why I want to take this nose off because I want to do different kind of little looks with her, especially when it's going into October. So let's get into her fashion. So she has her pet crescent right here. And honestly, it reminds me of a Mattel pet. And you guys know how I feel about Mattel pets. Well, these kind. And it's just, it's a pet and it's hollow. It's pretty much like, it's hollow and it's very light. So pretty much it's gonna be tossed to the side, pretty much. I love her phone. She comes with this coffin phone, which is kind of like an iPhone with her little apps on there. And it's super cute. And her music and all that is so cute. And it has like a little wolf on top holding on to it. And then the back has details of moons and music and claws and I like that and fur. And then she has her snacks, which her snacks is the How Puffs. I don't see how good my camera can focus. Oh, it focused a little bit. Let me see if it goes. Okay, yes, you can see it says how puffs. And it looks like a chips. But then she has this cookie that she comes with that she holds that she, I guess she is eating. But it doesn't look like the the bag right here. So it kind of it's kind of off-putting because it's like you have a cookie with no packaging. But that's fine. I mean, it could be just I can give her like a thing of cookies and they'll look really cute as a picture. She comes with this little comb. I don't know what to comb because with this poly property hair, you ain't combing nothing, girl. <laughs> so, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. But it's cute for pictures. It has a little hole so she can hold it for pictures. And the half moon is super cute on her comb. And then let's get into her purse. I love her purse because it's not hard plastic it's actually squishy plastic and i love it and you can actually open up her purse all right and her purse actually opens up i'm trying to open it and hold the camera at the same time but pretty much you can pretty much fit anything in there you see my thumb going inside the purse so all her stuff can fit in her purse and she comes with this fur coat she and it has a paper type of hanger i wish i had a plastic hanger so she can actually hang it on to a closet but it's okay and let's take it off this plastic hanger so i can show you guys okay guys so this is the vest and how it looks it's a vest it's not a full sweater like she usually has um people some people are saying they wish they had the full sweater but i'm fine with the vest because i'm not really a fur person a faux fur person or a fur person at all so i prefer like a leather jacket like honestly i would try this jacket on her because i like thinner jackets that's just my personal preference yours might be different but this is cute i like it i like her without it but i'm gonna try it on for you guys so you guys can see her with it and this is the plot the this is the paper hanger that it came on just to throw that away i wish it came with a real plastic hanger so yeah so let me show you guys how she looks with her jacket on so this is cutting with her sweater vest on and i'm not gonna lie she looks pretty fly i really like the way it looks um i love this i felt her shorts right here and the fabric is a thin fabric, but it does feel like actual fabric. And as far as her shirt, it does feel like a good fabric as well. And it's actually a fabric long sleeve shirt. And it is a full shirt. It's two separate pieces. So I don't get my dolls nude on my channel. That's just my personal preference. But yeah, but it's super cute. And the bag, I didn't get to show you in detail. It has these little chains, a moon, and then it has the wool scratches on the sides. And I really love that and it's super cute and final thoughts on this doll I really love the way she looks I give her a 8 out of 10 only because of the hair I'm gonna have to work with the hair and it kind of sucks because if it's a little girl and she comes with a doll with the hair like that it's like it's not her fault her doll's hair looks like that but as an adult collector we know how to fix that kind of stuff so that's the only minus i have to say about this doll and i wish she had a little bit of gold in her earrings i wish it wasn't just black earrings i wish she would have some gold so it could be a little more detailed to show like different piercings and stuff like that because you know i have piercings and you know 
and when you have like the same kind of earrings it looks a little weird but I mean it looks okay but they could have made this one gold black and then on this side gold or like you know like a mixture if you get what I'm trying to say and all in all I absolutely love her I can't wait to fix her up dress her up do different things with her photography and I brought out my purple couch if you guys watch my diorama and dollhouse tour video which I'll link down below you guys know I never had a purpose for this couch well guess what baby Miss Claudine is gonna be taking over this purple couch okay so let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of gen 3 oh my god before i go let me see the bottom of her shoe all she has she has wolf prints on the bottom of her shoe i didn't even realize that well i'm just gonna keep checking out this doll i'm pretty sure i'm gonna find some more things along the way don't forget to like comment share and subscribe let me know what you guys think about this doll are you getting this doll laguna i saw her in the store she's absolutely beautiful so i do suggest you guys pick her up she is very pretty she probably be the second one that i'll pick up but for now i love having miss claudine in my collection and let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of these dolls and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye.